Hey guys, it's Adam with IFT. Uh, back talking today about blade guard adjustments. Sometimes these blade guards get jammed up with dust and debris and they become almost impossible to move. They become frozen and they don't allow you to adjust the blade guard appropriately to match uh, what style cut you're doing or to match you know, how you're holding the, the saw in the cut. So today we're gonna take apart the Steel TS uh, 420 and we're gonna show you how to clean and readjust the blade guard tension so it's tight and firm but not over overbearing and frozen okay so the first step in this process is just simply removing the blade use any screwdriver or any long item to stick it through this hole here to jam up the drive pulley use a 19 millimeter socket on the back side i'm just going to take this blade off Desert Diamond Blade, we love this blade at IFT. Flip the saw around, use a 13 millimeter socket, and we're just gonna take the tension off the nuts on the starter system, so then we can detension the drive belt. Next, take a T27 Torx and remove the cover of the cutting arm. Now that you have the starter cover loosened, we're going to detension the drive belt, 19 millimeter socket here. Okay. We'll work this belt off that pulley. Put that out of the way for now. Next, we're gonna remove the drive pulley. This nut is reverse thread. Be aware of that. It's a 17 millimeter socket to take it off. Also, be sure to jam up the pulley from moving. Same hole as you took off with the blade. Just stick your screwdriver in there to stop it up. Take this off. Okay, set that aside. Now we're ready. So these four bolts here are what tension the blade guard with friction and determine how tight or how loose this guard is. These may be so corroded after years and years of use and neglect and never being clean. This is what may be freezing up your blade guard. Um, there may also be material in the friction mount itself. So you can mess with the tension of these, pull them out, clean them out, put them back into your preference, and that should help alleviate some of that frozen and unwieldy action of the blade guard. I'm going to go ahead and take these out and show you where you can then clean and service the surfaces between the friction mount to, again, alleviate any uh, frozen action here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just loosened the four bolts from the cutting arm, and you can see the blade guard has actually just started to fall away from the cutting arm. This gap here, that is the friction mount. That is where you need to blow out with compressed air all that dust and debris that's collected over years and years and years of cutting and debris and, and all that. That should help alleviate any frozen blade guards uh, out there on the TS series. To reinstall, simply just go in reverse of all these steps and we'll show you how, what that looks like now. So real quick, with all the bolts still loose, you can see just how easy this moves now. So tighten them down to your preferred preference. You want this blade guard to be firm, yet movable. So you don't want it to be wiggle, loose enough where it just wiggles loose when it's idling, but you don't want it to be impossible to move um, during a cutting operation on scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these back down. This saw I already cleaned out with compressed air when I was doing some research with this. Okay, I'm gonna test this, see how I like it. 
It needs to be a little bit tighter. And it's just like tightening the drum head, just kind of all the way around. A little bit tighter for me. Okay, perfect, love it. I'm gonna go and reinstall the drive pulley, then I'm gonna re-tension the belt, put everything back together, and we'll, I'll meet you at the end of the lecture, thanks. So I went ahead and put everything back together. The blade guard feels nice and firm, it's movable, but it's still firm enough that when the saw is just sitting there idly, it's not just gonna kind of uh, limp wrist and just fall back and be out of place. So I like the tension where it's at. Now, hopefully this video, you got something out of it that you were able to unfreeze your blade guard or at least just service it. They are long neglected pieces of the, the saw, but very, very important for saw, proper saw operation. We will have a video in the future about how to unfreeze your Husky K970, K950 series saws. Uh, we hope you got something out of this. Really, we kind of live in the short form video world of Instagram and Facebook. Uh, that's just really kind of more our forte. We're better at it, but... We're trying to be better about uploading things to YouTube, getting better about video editing. We just got a new laptop. We got a new video editing software license we paid for. So we're trying. We really are. Uh, we're still pretty low budget. Uh, I mean, we're shooting this in my basement with the sheet up. So hopefully at least the content's good and you guys enjoy it. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Independent Fire Training on both, both social media accounts there. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we will be uploading some more content soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.